hi guys here is julie welcome to my channel please subscribe like and ring the bell so you get notified every time i upload a new tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how to crochet the diamond sweater it's some kind of boho style and still modern crochet so let's get started you can make this sweater for any size and work with any kind of yarn for my project i'm going to use this yarn here it's acrylic yarn then i'm also going to need a five millimeter crocheting hook measuring tape yarn needle and a pair of scissors so let's start we are first going to make two panels, one for the front and one for the back and we are going to start in the middle of our panel. Ok, so here is one of my panels that I have already made, we are going to start here in the middle. And to create this panel, take your yarn and your hook, chain a total of three. Now hold this chain here and chain another three. This counts as your first double crochet. Go back in this chain and make one double crochet. And now work another double crochet in your remaining chains. So you have a total of four double crochet. Now chain again three and hold your third chain, chain three more, your first double crochet, go back in your chain you are holding and make one double crochet. And now work one double crochet in each chain. So you are going to have again a total of four double crochets. Now we are going to slip stitch in our third chain just like this and we have our middle here now chain 3 to step up counts as double crochet and work one double crochet in your next two stitches and we are going to go down and for this chain three it counts as a double crochet and go down in your first chain and slip stitch now chain three and hold your third chain chain three more for your double crochet and go back in the chain you are holding and make one double crochet and now work one double crochet in the next two chains and you have again four double crochet in total now go ahead and slip stitch in your first chain And now we are going to step up again and for this chain 3 counts as your first double crochet and now make one double crochet in the next three stitches now I'm going to change my color I am not going to cut my first color so take your second color make a slip knot see I've carried my color with me and 
and now pull your loop out and take your new color to close your last double crochets now work one double crochet in your next three stitches and now we are going to step down with a chain three it counts as a double crochet now go ahead and slip stitch in your very first chain right here and chain three hold your third chain chain three more for your first double crochet and then go back in the chain you are holding and make one double crochet now work one double crochet in your remaining chains and again you are going to have a total of four double crochets slip stitch in your first chain now we are going to step up again with chain three for your first double crochet one double crochet in the next three stitches slip stitch in your first chain step up again with a chain three one double crochet in your next two stitches and we are going to step down with three chains so slip stitch in your first chain one double crochet in the next three stitches and step down with chain three slip stitch in your first chain now chain three hold your third chain chain three more for your first double crochet one double crochet in the chain you are holding and one double crochet in your next two chains and now slip stitch to your first chain step up with chain three counts as your first double crochet one double crochet in the next three stitches slip stitch in your first chain step up with chain three and now because we are going to change color again make one double crochet in the next three stitches and the last one you are going to close with your new color so in my case it's going to be this gray make first a slip knot and then go ahead and pull your loop to close your last double crochet now we are going to start our third row so make first three double crochets and then you are going to step down with the chain three and slip stitch in your first chain one 
one double crochet in your next three stitches step down again with chain three and close with a slip stitch in your first chain chain three hold your third chain chain three more for your first double crochet make one double crochet in the chain you are holding and when one double crochet in your next two chains you have again a total of four double crochets close with a slip stitch in your first chain or in your last chain step up with chain three one double crochet in the next three stitches close with a slip stitch in your first chain and step up again with chain three one double crochet in the next three stitches slip stitch in your first chain step up with chain three one double crochet in your next two stitches and now we are going to step down again so chain three slip stitch in your first chain one double crochet in your next three stitches and step down again with chain three and slip stitch in your first chain one double crochet in your next three stitches step down again with chain three and now chain three hold your third chain chain three more for your first double crochet and make your double crochets so that you are going to have again a total of four double crochets this pattern is very easy and repetitive and it works very fast so I'm going to work with you this row to the end and then I'm going to show you how to take your initial color or if you want you can work how many colors you like so you can change color for each row Okay, so here is my last double crochet and now I'm going to take my initial color so this is going to be white so don't pull too much on your thread you need to have a little space there and now start all over again with three double crochet and then step down and basically this is all you need to do so we are first going to work in the length so go ahead and make 
how many rows you need for your desired length excuse me so I've worked a total of seven rows okay to reach the length of my sweater So my panel measures about 45 centimeters, so this is going to be the length of my panel. Now I'm going to work off camera my remaining rows and then I'm going to meet you back to show you how to work the rest of the panel to reach the width of the panel so in my case it's going to be about 48 centimeters so I've made my seven rows of my diamond shape and go ahead and measure to make sure you have the same length on your, back, on your both panels and now we are going to cut our yarn and for this chain one cut and pull through and cut your other two colors or more if you had more And we are going to weave in later on our working tails. So now we are going to work on the side of the diamond. Take your next color, make a slip knot, and we are going to reattach on the bottom so go in your first chain and slip stitch to reattach your yarn and now chain 3 this counts as your first double crochet and now work one double crochet in your next three stitches slip stitch in your first chain step up with chain three count as your first double crochet and one double crochet in your next three stitches slip stitch to your first chain and work like this till you are right here now slip stitch in your first chain step up with chain 3 go ahead and make one double crochet in your next Two stitches and now we are going to step down on the other side so for this chain three slip stitch right here so we are going to work now on this side One double crochet in your next three stitches and 
and now step down with the chain 3 and slip stitch to your first chain. Repeat these steps till you are here and then meet me back to show you how to finish your row. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of the row. So one double crochet in the next three stitches as usual. And now we are not going to step down, so we are going to make our fourth double crochet. Now chain one, cut your thread and pull through. So everything you are making on one side you are also going to do on the other side. So now you want to make your next row on the other side and this way you are going to increase your width them. So for the other side you are going to work the same so first make a slip knot reattach your same color chain 3 counts as your first double crochet and then one double crochet in the next three stitches and join with a slip stitch and step up with chain three again one double crochet in the next three stitches and join with a slip stitch Okay, so work like this till you have your measurement. So as a reminder, first you are going to step up till you are in the middle and then you are going to step down your row Till you are here and your last double crochet is going to be a double crochet and not a chain 3 okay and cut your yarn and change color you are always going to reattach your yarn at the beginning of the row okay so meet me back when you have your panel and then I'm going to show you how to work the corners so to have a square okay so I've made a total of nine rows on each side and now we are going to work on the corners to create a square or a rectangle so for this take your yarn make a slip knot and reattach with a slip stitch or with a single crochet so it's up to you I'm going to slip stitch and now chain 3 counts as your first double crochet one double crochet in the next three stitches slip stitch to step up chain 3 one double crochet in the next three stitches 
and basically you are working the same so I'm going to meet you back when I'm right here okay so this is going to be my last section for the first row now slip stitch and we are going to stop here so chain one cut your yarn and give a little nice pull and we are going to start our next row so take your new color make a slip knot and reattach at your first chain chain three for your first double crochet one double crochet in the next three stitches join with a slip stitch to step up chain three and again one double crochet in the next three stitches and slip stitch to step up and this is how you are going to work till the end of the row where your row ends so now you are not going to step up anymore so chain one cut your yarn pull through so this is how you are going to work till you have your corner done so take your next color and reattach and your rows are going to be shorter okay so work like this till you finish your one corner and then I'll meet you back to show you how to start on the other side. Okay, so one corner done. Now to work on the other side. So you are going to attach in the middle and then step down. Once you have your panels done, take your yarn needle and weave in your loose ends.
So I weaved in my ends. Now we are going to work one row of double crochet all around our panels. So for this go ahead and reattach to your panel in your left corner. So on your upper part of your panel with a slip stitch and chain 3. It counts as your first double crochet and make two double crochets in each double crochet row and again here is my next row of double crochet so I'm going to put two double crochets in there And again, in the next double crochet row, two double crochets, and work like this till you reach your corner. Okay, so here is my corner, you had already made two double crochet, now put another double crochet in the same double crochet row and now we are going to start making our double crochets in the stitch itself. So this is going to be the side of your panel. Now go ahead and work one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row. Till you reach your other corner. And then when you are here, so this is going to be your last double crochet in the stitch and then you are going to start working again in the rows. So in your first corner you are going to make three double crochet and then two double crochet in each row and work like this all around your panel. So here I'm at the end of my panel. Now I want to end up on the top of my first double crochet. So for this go ahead and slip stitch to the top like this. Now we are going to create the front opening. So I've already put 
my stitch markers on so I've counted a total of 20 double crochets on the other side also a total of 20 double crochets now chain 3 to start your new row it counts as your first double crochet and then work one double crochet in each stitch till you reach your stitch marker Okay, so here is my stitch marker. This is also going to be my last stitch. And for the next row, chain 3, turn your work. And then work one double crochet in each stitch from the previous row. Okay, now I'm at the end of my row, so this is going to be my last stitch, chain 1, cut your thread, leave a long tail, you are going to use this later on to make your shoulder seam. Now pull through and reattach your yarn on the other side. The right side of your work is facing you and you are going to reattach where your stitch marker is. Chain 3 counts as your first double crochet and now work one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row and work a total of two rows so now you have your front panel and this is going to be your back panel you are going to work first one row of double crochet all around your panel and then for the upper part of your panel you are going to make two rows of double crochets no opening for the back panel okay so this is my back panel it's the right side facing me now put your front panel on top of each other so the wrong side of your front panel is facing you thread your needle and now to make your shoulder seam just have to sew your front and your back panel together so this is going to be your first stitch where you are going to sew in and you also have on the back panel a total of 20 stitches to sew in okay so meet me back when you have your shoulder seams done to show you how to work next
Okay, so next we are going to make our sleeves. I've already made one. It's just worked in double crochet rows, so nothing fancy. And uh, for this, I've measured 20 centimeters for the armhole, and this is a total of 25 stitches. So go ahead and count down from your shoulder seam a total of 25 stitches. Where your double crochet rows are, you are going to count two stitches. Now take your yarn, make a slip knot and attach where your stitch marker is by making a slip stitch or a single crochet and chain 3 counts as your first double crochet and now work one double crochet in each stitch and when you reach your double crochet rows you are going to count two double crochets so I have a total of 25 double crochets on each side so on the front and on the back panel so a total of 50 double crochet and then worked a total of 30 double crochet rows till I reached my desired length and then I'm going to show you how to finish your sleeve okay so I've worked a total of 30 rows, 50 double crochets. I didn't make any decreases and now the last row is going to be a decrease row. So chain one, it doesn't count as a stitch and we are going to decrease all of our stitches. So just a single crochet Two together all the way down and you are going to end up your row by having a total of 25 single crochets okay so here I'm at the end of my row this is going to be my last single crochet stitch chain one leave a very long tail we are going to use this to sew your sleeve together or pull your yarn through and now take your needle and go ahead and sew your sleeve to take your other color to make your side seam. When you're done, meet me back to show you how to work the bottom of your sweater. Okay, so to work the bottom of your sweater, 
the right side is facing you. Take your yarn and reattach on your side seam with a single crochet and then chain one. It doesn't count as a stitch and make one half double crochet in the same stitch and then work one half double crochet in each stitch from the previous row all around your sweater and then when you're done you are going to slip stitch to your first stitch chain one cut your yarn and weave in your loose ends so guys i'm at the end of my tutorial thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and if you did please give me a thumb up share this video with your friends and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel i wish you good luck and have fun till next time bye bye